Ahoy, land lovers! It's me, your valiant Captain Vasco. And welcome back to the world of Skylanders Giants. We're, of course, here on the Dread Yacht, where uh, last time, you might remember, if you joined me for the bonus episode, we did some arena challenges, tried to give some strategy, that sort of thing. But uh, we did, we, we've gotten plenty of gold with our friend Hinata, amongst other Skylanders. And uh, beyond that, we've also managed to pick up our very first charm from uh, defeating Brock's Rump Roaster Ruckus, as I believe is the full official name for that. Uh, it's the Clever Clover, so from now on our Skylanders are, quote, much more likely to block an incoming attack when at low health. There's a whole lot of uh, not specific terms there. How low is low health? How much more likely? Who knows? But what I can tell you is that uh, even if you didn't join me for the bonus episode, then uh, we've made progress towards tracking down Chaos, uh, as even though he gave us the slip at his castle, his minion helpfully told us what his next plan was, which was to uh, drill with some sort of giant drilling rig. So uh, let's gear ourselves up a little bit. As I mentioned last time, we're, gonna, we're all set on making decisions for our upgrade pads, and we'll begin with our friend Hinata here. Welcome back. Ready for another magical upgrade? I'm ready for several more magical upgrades, and uh, I think I gotta try and do some manner of creative editing to speed this up a little bit, because it's gonna be a lot of upgrades today. Got a lot of gold between the last two levels, all that stuff, so uh, let's get to it! Alright, first up for Hinata is the Bottle Rockets upgrade, so uh, when we're inside the bottle mode, we can now fire rockets. Alright, so let's try out these Bottle Rockets. Now we're a bottle, <laughs> now we got rockets. They don't fire all that quickly, but, uh, you know, we can move pretty pretty quickly in the bottle. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see if that's any use to us in the future. We've got some more gold, though, so let's see if we can start upgrading along the new path. And, of course, since that's for last normal upgrade, we can also uh, make a decision about which upgrade path we're going to do. And even though everyone recommends Swords of Might, and I've tried it in the past and it seems fine, it really just never seemed to add much to her character. So I'm going to try out the Ancient Jin magic and see how stupid that is. And I think we'll begin with the super surrealistic spheres. This should, allegedly, again, I haven't actually tried this upgrade path before, uh, give our magical sphere attack a larger area of effect and do more damage. So uh, that could be interesting. Well, the spheres look only slightly different, but you can sort of tell there is a difference. We'll see uh, how big a difference it makes once we get into some battle. Later on, probably. Let's move on to the next character. Alright, so with Laboon, I'll also be trying out an upgrade path that I haven't tried before. However, this time, it's the one that uh, people do recommend. Let's start by getting him his last basic upgrade. Now there's an anchor, and uh, makes his anchor attacks do more damage. Pretty straightforward. Uh, however, in the past, I tried the up-close and personal uh, upgrade path, and uh, I actually found it to be pretty effective. I liked the bonus armor that it gave you, but similar to uh, Hinata in the past, I just wasn't impressed with what it actually added to the character, so I'm gonna try the more highly recommended Anchors of Yay, which uh, gives us more and varied anchor attacks. So uh, the anchor looks a little heavier, chunkier, probably explains the uh, increased damage that we're supposed to get from it, but uh, something that's kind of hard to show off without enemies around. Do we have enough for our next upgrade? Uh, nope, we're just a little bit short, so I guess we'll have to save that for later. Now, while I'm not sure we can actually purchase any of Pegasus's upgrades today, I can at least show you uh, what trajectory we're gonna take. So he's already up to the point where we should make a decision for him, and uh, I think I'm going to continue doing what I had done the previous time I leveled him up, which was an eye for an eye. This uh, increases the, the sort of versatility of his uh, flying attacks with the eyeball. I, I think that's the coolest part about him, so that's definitely my personal favorite of his two uh, choices. The melee attacks, while good, and while I believe that provides him some extra armor, they're just not as exciting to me, so let's go with an eye for an eye. And uh, I know for a fact that I won't be able to upgrade anything right away, so let's just move right along. Our last giant friend is Flint, and uh, well actually he's not very close to his upgrade pads. He still has two more basic upgrades to get, but since we have the gold for it, we might as well get one of them. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ground Grinder, because it gives us something new to do. If we hold A while doing his main attack, he'll now shoot a giant spinning blade saw thing. So let's check it out. Kinda hard to see in this crowded room, but you can definitely see that there's like some ground splitting, 
and like some gold stuff happening slightly off camera. As evidenced by his graduation cap, I would say Yoshi is the most veteran of anyone on this team, considering I uh, had the ability to play him in the last game, so I'm a little bit more familiar with him. Uh, I definitely have a preference with his upgrade pad as well, and uh, once we buy firecracker food, which makes our vines do more damage, I'll be able to tell you which one that is. Uh, and that's the Melon Master. Uh, as I've pointed out the last couple times I've tried using the, uh, the Melon Fortress attack thing, Melon Fountain, whatever, uh, at its basic form, it's actually kind of difficult to use against enemies, but once you, like, level it up, it's just amazing. It does everything you need it to do all at once, so I'm looking forward to showing that off for you guys. As for upgrades in the moment, let's check out the vines. Oh yeah, you can tell that those are some, uh, some bigger fruits from the vine, and the explosions are a little bigger. That's pretty cool. Let's keep moving right along, though. Now, I'm pretty sure I've already said that Rush is one of my favorite Skylanders, uh, and I've talked in the past about how I like his firewall abilities, so uh, it probably shouldn't come as a surprise that that will be the choice that I'm making today, or will be making, since I don't actually have the goal to upgrade him at the moment either, but I'm sure we'll be uh, rectifying that today. Next up, we have Falco, and uh, he's got his cheapest basic upgrade left over, which means we'll definitely be able to upgrade with him a little bit. Uh, this makes the uh, suction blades on his gun a little bit more powerful. Uh, while I like that move, it's not always the most useful, which is why I saved this for last. However, once we buy that, we'll be able to uh, look into more upgrades. However, by saving that upgrade for this long, we've uh, hidden away a different upgrade that we'll need to get before making our upgrade path decision. So let's pick up the turbine suction fan as well, which just uh, further serves to increase the suction fan damage, and both of these change the appearance of the gun slightly. This one a little bit more than the last one, uh, which finally opens up our upgrade paths, and uh, the, the flight attacks are just, they're just not that interesting. I think most people who have tried that upgrade path seem to have come to the same consensus. So we'll definitely be upgrading the blaster. The blaster is obviously the coolest thing. Why wouldn't you want to shoot the blaster? Blasters are awesome. So uh, as you can see, the blaster looks a little bit different. Has uh, a little bit more of a force wave to it, I guess you could call it. But we're a little bit shy of our next upgrade, so uh, we'll be moving right along once again, leaving us only with our final Skylander, Meta Ridley. Now let's see what we can get for him today. I believe, uh, just like the others, he's gonna be a little bit shy of what he needs to have to, uh, to get his last upgrades, but we'll check it out. We might, we might be just there. So let's start with the, uh, Axion Focus Crystals, which, uh, make his eye lasers do more damage, which is awesome, because the rate of fire is already pretty good. So yeah, the, the blasts seem to me to look like a little bit more substantial, a little bigger, uh, perhaps even a little brighter. But, uh, yeah, overall, same basic laser that we know and love. Ah, and perfect, we have just enough to get the galvanized blade gears, which uh, make the blade gears a little bit bigger, make them do a little bit more damage, check that out. But uh, first we'll make our decision here, Clockwork Dragon does the blade gear stuff. You might have noticed that I very rarely use the blade gears, they're not super helpful because their attack pattern is a little weird. Um, the lasers are definitely the way to go because uh, not only do they continue to increase the amount of damage that they can do, one of these upgrades lets you fire twice as many lasers, which is just an absurd upgrade to the amount of damage that he can do and how rapidly he can do it. So yeah, now the blade gears have, uh, little, like, sharp bits around the edges. Makes them a little more clear that they're weapons. They're still kind of slow and angled and weird, so, you know, don't regret making that upgrade path choice. Uh, that being said, we've made all of our choices. Well, we haven't necessarily locked them all in, but these are the ones I'm going with, and I thought it was important to share that before continuing. So, let's head on with the next mission. Alright, so now that our team is all upgraded, we'll be catching uh, Chaos in no time, I'm sure. Just as long as we don't encounter any flying ghost pirates. But what are the odds of that? So what do you say, buddy? You ready to go find this big drill Chaos is planning to use? Yeah, let's take it on. That's what I like to hear! Well, I'll just turn this wheel and... Wait, wait, what's happening? Oh no, I've totally jinxed us. Look, it's flying ghost pirates. Ugh, what are the odds? We are not getting shot down again. Not without a fight, let's get them. Well, maybe you can get them. I mean, someone's gotta steer this thing, right? Try not to get too freaked out on me here, but I think this may be a ghost ship. Skylanders of the air are stronger in men. Armor, archer. Aw oh man, it's just like I said, flying ghost pirates. What a 
tough run of luck. This is definitely going to slow us down, but it's not going to stop us. I mean, if there's anyone who knows how to stop a bunch of pirates, it's Vasco to game. So, uh, yeah, now we've got armored archers. They're really not that big a deal. The archers aren't terribly durable to begin with, so giving them some armor really just makes them slightly more annoying. So, uh, yeah, I believe my, uh, my eye lasers were doing, like, six damage a shot before, so, uh, you can already tell that, uh, the laser upgrade path has gotten me, like, slightly more powerful. By which I really mean, I got that upgrade in the basic path, and, uh, it's already, like, showing some results more than anything. Man, these guys are really annoying in close quarters. But it looks like there's more creeps on the way. Why don't you go use that big gun down there and start shooting back? So yeah, you, you want to try and be careful about how much time you spend on deck because uh, the longer you spend there, the more likely the pirates are to just sort of like shoot at you with their ships swooping around, that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, luckily the uh, Willikin gave us this cannon with which to give us a bunch of annoying mini games to break up this level. Uh, yeah, I'm not a I'm not a really big fan of this part of this level, to be honest. Come on, Flynn, give me a break. I don't need you uh, backseat turreting or whatever. I can handle this all by myself. But uh, the thing I really don't like about this is like the controls of the turret are not terribly responsive. So when you're like dealing with enemies that are actually fighting back, like it's just really sluggish, and you take a bunch of damage, and it feels really bad. Cause like no matter how hard you try, it's really hard to like be able to shoot everything before it's shooting at you, it's really late. Um, so now we're upgrading yet again to even heavier ships to look out for, but all the while we still have the mines and the smaller ships heading for us. Look at that, that guy shot at me like before he was even on screen. There's no way I can avoid that damage. I mean, I think you can shoot the, the cannonballs, but like there's just so much going on. It's hard to like focus on everything when your shots are so slow, and even the the Targeting cursor is not super responsive. Uh, also, it just takes a while. Like, I don't know. I've never been a huge fan of these turret mini games, but something about their presence in this level is, like, particularly bothersome to me. Um, oh, it's another big one. Yeah, like, they're, they're shooting, like, an area at, like, the top of the screen that I can't, like, shoot at their shots, so, like, I can't counteract those. Even if I am correct, which I think I am, in that you can, uh, shoot those. I also got really lamed there at the end that a second one showed up when I only had to attack three of them. Uh-oh, we got some company back on deck again. You feel like walloping some bad guys up here? I mean, I guess I don't really have much else going on. But, uh, why don't we give another Skylander a try? How about... oh, I don't know, Flint? Since we're still confined to the tight quarters of the ship, I think uh, melee attacker will be... will do a little bit better. Even though we're dealing with archers. So yeah, the blade gears aren't really good here in the close quarters. You're better off using the hammer for the most part. But uh, the blade gear is definitely useful in some situations. Gotta watch out, we've got these... Uh, they called something knuckle these guys are jerks so you gotta watch out for them and you gotta make the best of it when they hit the ground because you don't have a lot of chances to attack them yeah this is pretty annoying not gonna lie with uh, all the archers like spamming the ranged attacks while I'm trying to like dodge the super powerful melee attacker it's not exactly a fun party time to be honest Well, at least, even though it's pretty inept as a captain, he's got his priorities straight. So great, now we have uh, armored goliaths. So, so far we've just met a bunch of uh, armored versions of existing enemies. That's uh, super exciting. It's uh, a lot of fun, new elements to the game, I would say. Except I'd be sarcastic when saying that. Wow, I don't know what happened there, but that was really stupid. So, uh, let's see, who can we take... I know. Why don't we use, uh, 
Yoshi. With this many enemies surrounding us, it shouldn't be too hard for the melon fountain to do some serious work. Of course, I timed that so I would get, like, beat up on by the stupid Goliath. So, uh, while the, uh, while the armored version of the archers isn't terribly, uh, isn't terribly threatening in comparison to the uh, regular archers, the armored version of the Goliath is a real pain. Although, if you hit him with several large melons all at once, you're in pretty good shape. Because, uh, that's really the way those work. Each one of them actually does sort of like a large amount of damage for what they do. That was beautiful. But we've got more problems below deck. Head down to the cannon again. You know what, Flynn? I'm sick of you. You can't even figure out how to steer your own ship, and you keep telling me what to do. So I think I'm gonna loot this ship for treasure. What is this... What is this box doing here? I'm pretty sure this is a glitch. That's weird, I guess. So, uh, that, that floating box is sort of concealing it, but we do have our first treasure chest of the level here at the front of the ship, or bow, as it is called in nautical terms. Um, and notice if you pay close attention that we've got like a little broken wood plank here, which means that if we have a giant helping us, we can break through it. And just the man for the job is Laboon. Alright, so let's do our giant dive, smash, and now we have a water gate, conveniently. Also... Here, those sky pirates had me locked up in this place. I guess it's a gateway to some mystical lagoon. There's supposed to be a hat in there, too, but that's none of my business. Of course, the guy outside an elemental gate is going to tell us about hats. I really don't understand why it's so necessary to do that. I generally assume that that sort of thing is hanging out in the gates. Alright, so, uh, just to fill you in, so, uh, it, it, I'm pretty sure it's obvious to you now that this level takes place, you know, largely on our own ship, the Dread Yacht, and, um, so, like, in order to, like, have enough places to hide all of the things that we would normally be looking for in these levels, uh, we've got some, like, teleporters and stuff, and they're gonna take us to far away land. Good lord, you guys are jerks. I don't like melee attackers very much, because, like, these stupid, slow-moving jerk guys who move in numbers and regenerate health, they're gonna be real jerks when they get up close. Why am I not damaging them with my freaking chomp attack? I'm so mad right now. I'm having such poor time playing this game right now. Really? Oh, for God's sake. Can you guys chill out for a minute? Oh my god, okay, no. You know what? No. No, no, we're not doing this. We're not, we're not, we're not doing this. You take care of the, the little spasmeisters, Yoshi, and then we're gonna friggin' we're gonna carry on with our day. Like, civilized human beings and or monstrous combinations of dragon, plant, and or giant sentient whale. And you're doing a real good job of homing out on the enemies there, homing vines. Really impressive. These guys suck, okay? They don't do a ton of dam- well, I guess they do do a ton of damage. Look at how much that was. That was stupid. Um, but the main thing about them is that you have to constantly attack them because they heal massive amounts of their uh, HP just like constantly and like instantly. They heal like 15 at a time. And so like if you're not constantly attacking them, then they're gonna regenerate all their health and it's a real pain in the butt. I'm gonna kill this guy right now too. I'm sick of his crap. He hasn't even looked at me. I don't care. Sick of his crap. There we go. Got him before he got to me. The The biggest problem there, you don't want them, like, grouping up on you, but a whole bunch of them start in a big chunk over there at the start of the level. So, it's really stupid. It's great. Okay, so, back to this water game. So, we're stuck on our ship for the most part, but uh, we still gotta collect hats and treasure chests and all that good stuff. So, we've got, uh, most of them are sort of hidden in these two giantish teleporter regions. So we're no longer on a ship, we're in some weird fanciful water park meadow slidey thing. It's probably a pretty cool place to hang out in the summer. I know it's pretty hot where I am today, so I wouldn't mind being in a place like this, even though I don't normally like this sort of thing. 
Uh, we've got the Mega Bomb again, and uh, a lot of the, uh, not really puzzles, but you can sort of call them puzzles. A lot of the things going on in this level sort of uh, involve getting your Mega Bomb from point A to point B so that you can use it to do something specific. I'm gonna, just gonna clear this out of the way, get some treasure, could use it. Um, uh, yeah, but we have these big fish statues, and I suppose I should probably demonstrate this at least once. If I can get this thing rolling yet again. Uh, so, yeah, it's just gonna deflect it until you beat up on the statue and stop spraying water. So, uh, that's the goal there. Also, before we keep going, gotta clear one of these out of the way, because we got ourselves a treasure chest. Uh, who's gonna take this? Who's gonna take this? I'm gonna say that, uh... I know, Rush should probably take this. Yes. Man, when you do a lot of switching like I do, you sure do get sick of those uh, summoning animation things after a while. They just feel way longer than they need to be. Alright, that should help matters out. Um, yeah, why don't we go with you for a little while, Rush? You're gonna be a little bit quicker than the Boon. And, uh, that last room took way longer than it should have. Um, this level isn't actually that difficult. I don't know why it's just being a jerk today. I mean, I've, I've had some bad luck, uh, in terms of, like, things conspiring against me. Uh, so once you drop, you, you use that first Mega Bomb to blast through one of those big metal great things, and then you fall down this waterfall. Go to your right! The teleporter will take you back up where we just were. Uh, and also, there's a tr another treasure... Another treasure trust right here. God dang it. Having a crappy day. Just having a crappy day. Uh, someone else needs this treasure, though. I'm going to say that that person is... Eh... Oh, Flint. It is rush hour. He could use a lot of things, clearly, as evidenced by the angry red flashing and irritating sound effect. Still, it's nothing compared to Legend of Zelda, for example. That sound effect will haunt everyone's nightmares, I'm sure. Alright, so as I said, this takes you back to where you were just a second ago. So you jump down, and you can hop right back up. So we got more enemies coming, but we got a Mega Bomb, so we don't care about those enemies. Have fun, gravity. Yeah, the fun thing about the Mega Bomb is that it just kills basically any normal enemy that it touches. I don't think there's any... No, in the last game there was a boss where there were Mega Bombs. There was that tank thing, one of the uh, troll levels kind of cool. Um, but in this game, I don't think there are any bosses that have Mega Bombs around them, so really the only thing that matters is it, it kills any normal enemies. Uh, yeah, I, th I think you can't even push the Mega Bomb into the side of the fish statue to break it instantly. Just the weight of the Mega Bomb is apparently so massive that, uh, that it can crush basically anything. And what it can't crush, it will explode. Alright. So, this area sucks. I should not be flint for this. Uh, who it would be good for this? Someone relatively quick. Uh, let's go... Mm. Yeah, let's go with Falco, even though he's not in a position to really use his light core blasty thing to maximum effect. Get rid of the archers. That helps. Uh, leave me alone. Okay, let's get rid of this last archer. This stupid armor. Armored you know what, I really don't like the armored enemies in general. Like, they just seem lazy to me. Like, the first game did such a good job of, like, making a bunch of creative enemies, so it didn't matter as much that, uh, that they added the armored enemies on top of it. They were just to make specific areas more difficult without adding more enemies, which, that aspect I sort of appreciate. Um, but yeah, e even these Goliath guys will be taken out by, like, one touch of the Mega Bomb, if you can do it when their shield's not up. See, right there, went through a shield. Broke off his armor for some reason. I'm just playing, like, bullfighter, running back and forth. Let's see if I can lure him over here and then just push it into him. So as this phases through the Mega Bomb, push it into him, he's dead. So that's one way to make that a little bit quicker, because this section kind of sucks, because the, the armored drought Goliath guy, they're just stupid. I hate them. They're big I mean, the normal Goliath guys are hard, and that's fine. But, like, the armored ones just take more time than they should. Like, I, I feel like generally in Giants, there's just not as much creativity as I wanted. Someone else needs this food, by the way. I'm gonna say Laboon, probably. 
but uh, I've already sort of mentioned that in the later levels I, I find it frustrating that uh, there's sort of just like a, an, F, an enemy that's really difficult to fight in a small space, like times three, and that's their idea of making the game harder towards the end. It's like, I would like it if you would actually come up with like an interesting level as opposed to just taking enemies you've already introduced and doing frustrating things with them. Um, and I, I feel like the use of the armor in this game is more along those lines of just sort of like, this section is dumber than it needs to be. Alright, so here we've got ourselves a little, like, KV alcove thing. You could miss it, but uh, you probably won't. It's pretty big and huge and giant. So, uh, let's see what wisdom the scroll can impart to us. Oh, that's not... dang it. It should come as no surprise that Chaos was never popular with the girls. As a young lad, he used to practice serenading them, pretending they were standing atop various balconies throughout his castle, often substituting large pieces of treasure for the girl. Quite pathetic, really. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think that's the hint about the uh, the dragon engine in Chaos's castle, because it's up on a balcony where there's nothing else going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, sucks to be Chaos, I guess. Okay, so, uh, fun fact. We got some boulders in the middle here that you can move with the giant. Don't do that. It's not really a fact, I guess. It's it's a piece of advice. Don't do that. Um, I, it should be a shortcut, but every time I've ever tried to use it, like three or four times at least, like, it just sort of, like, makes it really difficult to move the mega bomb around this area. Like, it's kind of nice to just have that central wall. So, I would just sort of keep that intact if I was you. So, uh, here we've got sort of a quasi-ambush thing. It's not a uh, proper ambush in the sense that, uh, you know, it's one of those elemental things where the uh, evil Skylanders show up. It's not that sort of thing. Just sort of like, here's a dead end, and your mega bomb is... You know, well, it's actually a pretty useful tool here, but it's also just sort of trapped here. You're trying to get it to that area down there at the bottom, and uh, it's not not able to get through this monster gate. So uh, we have to just sort of wait for all of the monsters to clear out before we can get through this stupid place. <laughs> Literally landed on my head. That's great. All right, come over here. It's really hard to maneuver the mega bomb in such a small area. I'm trying really hard to. I just wanna, I just wanna one hit you, with the stupid mega. Get over here. Come in this direction. You can hit me once if you want to. Just sort of, just, I just want you to. This. There we go. Got him. Okay. It's a lot easier than trying to fight him. Even though that took longer than I wanted it to. It's definitely easier. There we go. It's the last enemy. I think there's experience. No, I guess I picked it up. Great. So, uh, in case you couldn't see it before, we've got another one of those blast grating things. We use the mega bomb on. Oh, thank you for that weird, nauseating camera movement game. And, uh, here we've got a hat. What sort of hat is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. It is a sailor's hat. So I, I guess we're about to get a demotion from, like, general to sailor. Um, but we're gonna put this on, because it looks funny. Your interesting look for me. Yeah, I don't know. I like the I like the tiny sailor hat on the giant whale man. I think it's pretty funny myself. I'm gonna pick up this treasure. Actually, let's uh, Boone's done some work, gotten like half a level of experience. Let's uh, share the treasure. Who else? I know who else needs the treasure. Pegasus. I've got my eye. This jaunty sombrero. Now we're gonna bounce our way out of this giant area. As I said, like, these are some really big teleporter sections. They needed some place to, like, hide collectibles and stuff in this level, because really overall there's, there's not a whole lot of level to be had. Now we're back here. Don't step on the middle thing, because that'll just take us back to where we were, and I think you end up having to go through that entire section again. So don't accidentally do that, that's probably really stupid. Why don't you go use that big gun down there and start shooting back? <laughs> I like him saying that as soon as we come out, like he's been waiting this whole time. Like, okay, seriously, you've had your fun on that other ship. Maybe you should go protect this ship from being shot at for a little while. It'd be nice. So, yeah, once again, we've got another turret section. 
As if the last one wasn't really long enough for the entire level, we've got it going on again. So if the mines get close, they blow up and hit you. The little guys are going to shoot cannons at you, try to hit you. The big ones are going to shoot giant cannonballs at you, they're going to try and hit you. Everything here is going to try to hit you. In fact, I don't know if it's at this point. I think it is, though, that we'll start even seeing, like, giant rocks that just have big old... Here's one, with a big old freaking laser gun on top of it. And, uh, if you let that get too close, it'll shoot you. Everything just wants to hurt you. Everything wants to shoot at you. I don't know why the pirates are so hostile. Maybe it's because I absolutely refuse to share my treasure with them, but I've worked hard to collect it. Um, heck, some of it I even stole from them, so I guess that's probably why they're mad. Because I, I took it off their ship. Probably shouldn't have done that if I wanted to be friends with the ghostly, evil sky pirates. Then again, who really wants to be friends with evil ghost pirates? I mean, like, I'm good with evil pirates, or ghost pirates, but both is just too much. You gotta, like, stick to one gimmick, guys. Like, honestly, I'm I'm a friendly video game pirate. That's my thing. It's, I guess that's two things, but, uh, I don't know, video game pirate doesn't really contradict anything. I don't know what the opposite of a video game pirate would be. Uh, we've got another giant cannon thing. This is going a lot smoother than I would have expected, considering. I've already taken out four of the, uh, the big old cannony guys, and of course, the second I look at the right-hand side of the screen, he comes up on the left. Real pain. You win! Oh boy! I have just spotted another battleship, and it is huge. You better come up here ASAP. Hey, I've got an idea. What if we turned the tables, and you boarded their ship instead? Here. I'm gonna swing us around, and when I do, you can drop right in on these creeps. Skylanders of the undead element are stronger in this zone. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, uh, most of the level sort of takes place on the, the Dread Yacht. Maybe it's even like half the level, because the rest of it will be here on this uh, giant enemy ship, and it's relatively large and we've got a whole nother one of those secret areas to deal with because uh, there's just not enough level to be had without it so uh, first thing you want to do when you get to the ship is head right and head all the way around pick up the winged sapphire because uh, it's pretty easy to miss although I myself found it really suspicious that there was all this walkway at the start of the ship uh, once you've done that you come back over here we've got an elevator this will take us to the rest of the ship So we got some more of these mace majors. They want to be up close and personal with you. Um, but uh, soon, there's also one of those knuckle guys. I forget his name, whatever. He's got a knuckle, he punch. He's punch knuckle. I'm gonna call him punch knuckle. Um, so now we've got a bag of boom. Bag of boom or bag of bomb? I think it's bag of boom. So you gotta wait for him to like throw his bomb, then you can pick it up and throw it at this cannon thing. And I'll take care of this cannon thing, which, uh, I guess the idea is we're trying to disable this whole ship so it stops shooting at the Dread Yacht, which makes a lot of sense because we were definitely getting shot at. I don't know if you were paying attention during the, uh, the turret section. There's a lot of shooting going on. The bullets are sort of small, so I guess you could miss it, but, uh, if you watch the health bar and just look for all the cannon fire, there's, there's a lot of shooting. And, uh, I think, I think we're all on the same page that none of us wants to be shot at, uh, especially by evil ghost pirates. I mean, I feel like if you live your whole life as an evil pirate, by the time you're a ghost, you should probably just, like, learn to make peace, you know? Maybe that's me. Maybe I'm idealistic. Who knows? What I do know is that there's a whole lot of spinning blades. I don't really like any of them. There's too much spinning. Too much blade. Too much spinning and blade in these spinning blades. Alright, so now I've got a very similar looking section to the thing we just did on the other side of the ship. And this time, instead of a knuckle punch guy, we've got a, uh armored goliath guy and unfortunately this time around we uh don't have access to any mega bombs to make this quicker uh and we will continue to see a bunch of these armored goliaths Ugh. and it's really hard to avoid them when they when they get the jump on you 
Somehow he died? Oh, I pushed him into the blade. That's funny, I never thought of that. Oh, I should try that again. Here, you go over there. Oh, don't throw bombs at me. Come on. All right, fine, have it your way. I choose... Hinata? Any last wishes? Maybe we can, uh, check out her, like, magical orbs. Wow. I guess I should probably kill... Wow, there's so many of these bag of bomb guys all of a sudden. On the other side, it'd wait like 10 minutes for one to show up. Now they're just like throwing bombs in every direction. Don't throw bombs at me! What did I say before? Just because I'm playing with a different Skylander doesn't mean I s want you to throw bombs. Jerk. Alright. Come at me, come at me. Throw this. Throw this. Oh, that's gonna hit. No. No, it's not. Alright, let's see if we can, uh... Man, it's pretty tricky to lure him into the blade. Nope, stay stay there. You're so close. You're so close. Oh, don't do whatever you're doing. I don't like it. I just want you to... Okay, fine. You could just be dead. That's acceptable, I guess. And all this experience. Give it to me. Alright, so I've got this bomb now. I can throw it at this cannon. I'm just like the other side. Bob's our uncle. And there's less shooting to be done. Now, we've uh, still got one more major cannon to take care of. I would actually kind of like it if at the start of this level they would, like show you all the cannons, or like give you like a, a really good look at this ship. They sort of show you this ship? Did they slur that? I don't know, that sounded weird when I said that out loud. They sort of show you the ship, but um, it's just real quick in passing and you don't really see your objectives. I don't know. One thing I don't love about this level is like normally you have like a really good sense of what you're doing when you go into a level, and I don't mind the fact that they like switch things up a bit and they were like, oh like this time, like you sort of get ambushed and your plans change really suddenly. I thought that was actually kind of cool. But, like, it just doesn't... It feels weird that you, like, don't exactly know what you're going to be doing this whole level when you get here. So if you talk to Ermit, the hermit here, he's just going to tell you that there's a hat in here. Wow, thanks for that. I, I'm criticizing you and I'm not even letting you talk. Instead, let's switch back to uh, Falco, because we'll need his help to open this thing. Whoosh! There we go, whoosh. Thing is open. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Alric real quick, so we can just look at his shop and show you what's going on here. I've uh, got another uh, another heroic challenge that you can buy. We've got some hats, some military-ish hats for some reason. We've got a theme there. And then uh, pretty standard stuff, regeneration, fairy dust, yada yada yada. Now, let's head into that air elemental gate. Skylanders of the air. <laughs> Alright, nothing over here. So, you're like, where are we gonna go? Well, you, clearly you're not paying attention to Giant Purple Arrow, because we're gonna fly on the wind. Fly like the wind on the wind. Yeah, I don't know. Something about the enemies in this level really bugs me. Like, their placement isn't, like, super lame for the most part. Like, sort of close quarters on your own ship, so not all the Skylanders are really equipped for that. That's kind of annoying. But, like, I don't know, you just end up seeing, like, the same guys over and over. And you know what part of it is? We're all like, oh, it's a ghost pirate ship. Do you know how many ghost pirates are in this level? Zero. There are zero ghost pirates in the ghost pirate ship level. And I think, subconsciously, that just really makes me sad. And angry. Or the super emotion that I know as sangry. Uh, where you are both sad and angry at the same time. That is Sangri, and it makes me that. Um, I will say that there are points in the level that if you pay attention, the enemies are sort of ghostly. You can sort of see through them, but, like, there's nothing about them that's different. They're the exact same enemies. They're, they're not even pirate enemies that are see-through, and we know that there are pirate enemies in this world. So, I don't know. just seems weird. I don't get it. Uh, right, I didn't really mention it because I was busy ranting. But uh, that first area, I think we'll even come back to it so I can point it out more carefully then. But uh, that first area that you get to after jumping on the, the purple arrow to fly you, uh, you jump, up, jump off the right side and you get legendary treasure for the level. Yay, more stuff to tack onto our ship. Should probably take a look at the ship at some point soon. I don't think there's anything on this island. I don't know, I'm going to wing this. I have notes for this. It's been a little while since I played through this level, actually. Had some difficulties trying to set up recording time. Things have been kind of stupid around here lately. Uh, but I'm not going to talk about that. Instead, I'm just going to shoot at this guy. Haha, <laughs> I knocked off your hat, jerk face. 
jerk hat. Now you ain't got no shoulders. What you gonna do now? So look at this. this guy's like five pieces of armor protecting him, and he's already a like huge, difficult to beat enemy. Is it really necessary to give him this much protection? I don't know. I think it's stupid, but that's just me. Uh, it is important to note there are a lot of bagabooms in this area, and I believe the intention there is that you can use their bombs to try and deal extra damage to enemies like this guy, because again, we will continue to see them throughout this section. Uh, there's a bunch of them. It's really dumb. Um, so yeah, if you if if you want to do that, you can just sort of like focus your attacks on the enemies that aren't the bag of boobs and use their bombs to blow those guys up a little bit more quickly. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're like me and you just want them to stop throwing bombs, you can do that as well. Just take them out, deal with the other guy. Makes things take a little bit longer, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, uh, sort of an annoying thing going on. So here's the place, jump off here, get treasure, yay. Um, I should switch characters soon. I think we can afford to level up. So before we do anything over here, it's important to note that there is a lucky wheel tucked away in this corner that you could miss because you sort of fly in really quickly and you might catch a glimpse of it, but it's just sort of hidden in a place where there's no other incentive to go. So if you're just focused on fighting the enemies, you could miss that really easy. So don't forget it. Do it right away, like I did, because I would have forgotten otherwise. There we go. That's the power of my increased suction fan blade. It's pretty good. Took care of those guys really quickly. Uh, maybe should have been using that earlier. That's fine. Just gonna spam the blaster. Should make quick work of this guy, I think. No, nope, didn't quite get him in one go. Thought I could. Here, just come punch me or whatever. Just gonna mess around and get some treasure. You know, like usual. Cool, now we can switch characters, because Falco's now ahead of the curve on experience. Um... How about we use Rush for a little while? So, got some more treasure over here. Get that. Did I take care of the archer accidentally? I thought he was still up there. That was weird. Whatever. We also have a soul gem. I want to pick this up. This is for Fright Rider. Uh, he's just undead Skylander that I've never played with. He, like, rides on a skeletal ostrich, I think, is the thing that he does? It's a weird thing. Uh, I don't know what that ability does. For some reason, I know especially little about the Skylander known as Fright Rider. But, cool, we've taken care of all the stuff over here, which means there's a teleporter, which will take us somewhere else. So, yeah, now we've got two of those Goliaths, and at least two bag of... Oh, third guy up there. I think he's gonna wait for, uh, to see the aftermath of all this. Aha! Uh -huh. Picked up this, wait for this, and throw it at that guy. I got rid of his hat real quick. Probably almost quicker just not to do the bomb thing. It takes so much time. Wow, that did a lot of damage. It takes so much time to like... Uh... Okay, I'm regretting my decision. It takes so much time though to like have the... Uh... Oh, and I accidentally killed him completely inexplicably. I did not... I don't even know how that happened. Nope, okay, no, that was lame. No, nope, that was not what I wanted. <sighs> These guys are just such a pain. Like, if they had the armor but didn't still have that shield, that would be fine. But having the armor and the shield just makes it so time-consuming to kill these guys, and it's so boring. Like, it's not its not like you have to, like, come up with an interesting strategy. You just dodge them. And, like, if all you do is dodge them, then you're fine. You're not going to take any damage. But it also takes a million years, and, as I mentioned, it's super boring. Like, I feel like a lot of the decisions in this level were just sort of like, huh, we sort of wrote ourselves into a corner making it so you're only, like, playing on two small ships. So how can we make this level, like, take a lot longer than it really should? And, well, to their credit, they made it a lot longer, but it's not a lot of fun. I don't know. I think this is actually one of the more popular levels in the game, and I can sort of see why. But personally, I find it kind of lame. Is this guy supposed to come down here and fight me? Do I need to, like, provoke him? Is my, like, up shooty blast? Do I need to throw a bomb at him? I feel like maybe we've caught a second glitch in this level. Let's see if that gets him. There we go, I got his attention. And again, I managed to kill that stupid bag of boom. Whatever. I got the armor off this guy for the most part. Did one bomb do all that? That'd be crazy. 
didn't think that the regular bombs were capable of doing that much damage. Not with just one of them. Uh, leave me alone. Wow, he like secretly guarded. I, I, I've never understood. Sometimes when you or an enemy will take damage in Skylanders, this little yellow shield icon appears and you don't take damage. I think that's the sort of thing that the uh, the the lucky charm I got is supposed to do. The clover thing, clever clover. I, I think like it increases your odds of having the yellow shield happen when you're at low health, but. I just, like, it happens normally, and I don't know what causes that, and it's weird. Uh, I think we're almost at the end of this area, which is nice, which means we can get back. Ah, here we go. Here is the last bit that, uh, we're missing. It's a new hat. It's the Nefertiti hat. It's like a, an Egyptian queen hat. So obviously it's perfect for our dog, who's made of fire. There's no logic there. I'm literally just talking now. But I've really just been talking for a very long time. Longer than this video's been going on. I do a lot of just plain talking. Great, so I've made it back to the ship. Um, got all the stuff, I believe. Picked up... Oh no, there's uh, one treasure chest left, and I know where to get it. Uh, I got more spinning blades, it's very exciting, except not, because I don't like the spinning blades. i wait for this, and jump over it. Definitely gonna use this firewall. Wow, what is what happened there? What was that? Stupid archers. Okay. Alright, these guys are taken care of. We'll go switch Skylighters again. Uh who hasn't had a lot of time to play today? Uh well Hinata's still sort of uh a light player for today's events. I don't know, I'm just talking. I'm trying really hard to find words today, and they are not coming easily to my head brain or my body brain or my tail brain yeah maybe I have one of those I would explain why I'm totally confused oh man yeah I've gotten beat up beaten up on quite a lot today like all of my characters have taken a bunch of damage and you know why there's one really simple reason because of these stupid stupid Goliath guys I'm just gonna like drag him up this hill and throw magic balls at him until he gets sick, as sick of fighting me as I am of fighting him. That was weird. Does that always happen? Because, like, he, he wasn't trying to charge me going up the hill. Was it because of the hill? Was it something else I was doing? Is it just I was too far away? I don't know. It's interesting, though. It's worth exploring in greater detail. Oh my god, you guys. You guys and your stupid maces. You are a major pain, mace majors. There we go, I've killed like a jillion guys. Oh look, more jerk bad guys. Alright, I think... Well, there's like food around here, right? Yeah. Don't shoot things at me. Your butt. Hey, you know what else? I have these rockets. Pew! 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 Wow, those do not do as much damage as I want them to without upgrades. Definitely rather be using the swords. Basic sword attack does a lot more damage than that. But I do feel like... I feel like having more powerful ranged attacks. Oh, what the freaking goodness gracious. I really look forward to making you dead. You are a jerk. Oh, come on. How, what are you even doing? I... Yoshi, clean up crew. I swear he was just like making up reasons for me to be damaged. Like none of the what? Is, leave me alone. Enjoy watermelons, you jerk. How are you shooting through solid objects? I swear to God, this thing is just making rules up as it's going, and I do not appreciate its candor. And you know what's awesome? We're not done here yet. It's gonna spew out some more Goliath guys, and another Chompybot. Yeah, I hate this level. I don't remember it being as bad as it's been for me today, but I've never liked this level. It's always just felt like it dragged on really long, and I think a big part of that is just like, there's just like a million Goliaths, and they all have armor, and every one of them takes like a million years to beat, and I would much rather be fighting a variety of enemies than doing the stupid crap that the game wants me to be doing in this level. Oh, this isn't gonna end well. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. No, it's it's fine. No, it's good. We're no oh good million chompies. That's cool. No, it's super cool. It's fine. Don't worry about any of this. It's fine. Alright, stop shooting. I'm gonna melons you. Now I'm gonna melons again. Oh, leave me alone! Leave me alone, both of you. Ugh, fighting all these guys at once is a real pain. Let's see if that ramp thing works again, huh? So, like, if I lead you up here... No, you're still gonna, you're gonna try and chase me. I don't know why that, like, worked before. I don't know what that means. The one nice thing about coming up here, though, is that the Chompy Bot's not gonna follow me because it's too stupid to find the ramp. It seems to have managed to fuse some Chompies with the ground for long enough to send them up here, though. That makes a ton of sense. <sighs> yep. Yep. Actually, I should probably just kill a bunch of Chompies. I'm really close to leveling, and then I'll heal. And then I can, like, be okay again. Where'd they all go? There's a bunch up here. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, I'm sick of your crap, robot guy. I don't want any more of this. So, like, here's some melons. Here's some melons. Here's some melons. Oh, he, like, sat on top of one of my melons as it was forming, so it didn't damage him at all. No, that's super cool, too. No, I wouldn't worry about being a super lame jerk face or anything. So, yeah, these, uh, these chompies are actually doing that ghostly thing I was talking about. Can I level up? This is absurd. Oh, great. You're gonna try and box me in, aren't you? Ugh. Alright, fine. We're just gonna switch- we're just gonna switch characters. I don't even know who's left. Everyone's been beaten to pulp. It's a terrible day. Uh-huh. Cool. Well, you need to experience anyway, and you're gonna earn it here. Where's he at? There we go. Blast, 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 blast. Leave me alone with your stupid elbows. How are you not... How have... I have definitely been attacking him already. Here's a question. Why do you have a chompy driving your robot that shoots chompies? I mean, I suppose, it, like, it's not a worse decision than anything else, but I feel like you might as well, like, have some tougher enemy in charge of the chompy shooting robot. Oh my god, you guys all suck. Okay, cool. So, uh, here's a treasure chest, and as, like, the last Skylander standing today, you get to keep it. Hooray! So we got our two hats, we got our story score, we got our soul gem, we got all our stuff. We're good. Legendary treasure. We're cool guys. Now we have some traps to deal with coming up here. A stupid wall of punching, I guess you could call it. Oh, hey, look, the tech element is strong here. It's like I planned this. I really didn't plan this at all, you guys. I got all the stuff. Now I get to deal with this. Uh, punch. Punch. Cool. And we walk. And it's punch. And both of the other sets punch? So I think I need to, like, do that. Wait for that. And then, like... I guess I could just go. Trying to, like, be clever, but I'm actually being dumb. Which, you know, sounds like a pretty typical day for Captain Vasco. I remembered one of these being, like, tricky, where, like, you had to do something in a way that you didn't expect. I think it's this last one. Nope, whatever, it's fine. Just go through them whenever you want. It'll work, I guess. Blast some stuff with my laser eye beams. Just a pizza. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that pizza real bad. Okay, cool. We're not done yet. Just so you know, I mentioned that there was a giant cannon, and, um, here it is. This is that big cannon that's been blasting us. Probably don't need to tell you this, but blow it up! Great. Okay. So, uh, just like before, we're gonna have some bag of booms, and, uh, they're gonna eventually throw bombs at us that we can maybe use if we're lucky. <sighs> the archers and the close guys. I just, I don't like this level. I mean, I feel like this is probably when the game starts doing the thing I really don't like, which is, like, just putting, like, enemies in, like, areas that are too small to fight them. Like, I like wide open areas where you can, like, roam around and regroup if you have to, and that sort of thing. But, like, this game does a lot of just, like, 
really claustrophobic enemy play. Like, here's a tiny platform. Here's a giant Goliath guy. Good luck not getting hit with his giant charge attack that will basically hit everything on this platform. I'm pretty sure there's like a finite number of these guys. So like once you kill them, they don't come back. Um, but annoyingly enough, the Bag of Booms hasn't spawned yet. So we can't use his bombs to try and do anything other than fight these guys. And I can't really attack those archers up there. Because the Skylander doesn't do that. Ugh. Such a pain. So yeah, now we get some Goliaths. Obviously, why wouldn't there be like a Goliath and two punch knuckles and another stupid mace major? Like, why wouldn't there just be like infinite giant durable enemies in this level? It just seems silly not to do that at all times. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone, all of you. All of you leave me alone. What the heck was that? What did a million damage to me just then? That couldn't have just been the punch knuckle. I mean, I think he got me, but like, that was stu- I hate the punch knuckle. His attack is really annoying, because like, you can't- Oh my god. Oh my god. There's too many archers. There's too much. there's too many archers. Who do I have that has health left? I'm sick of this. Um... Rush, I think, had some left? It's gone so terribly. It's like the worst episode ever. Ugh. No, it's totally wrong, by the way. Not does not have health. Okay, no, 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 no. He literally has no health now. You know, I don't even care. You know what? I'm just gonna fight. I don't. I, f I don't even care. I don't even care. Um, Yoshi was close to leveling up. If he can kill like one thing at this point, he should probably level up and give me more health. Oh my god, I didn't even get a chance to move. Are you kidding me? This is so stupid. This is the stupidest episode of history. Alright. Maybe, maybe Falco. Maybe. Could one of these stupid guys die already? I'm so sick of this. I forgot that he leveled up, so I guess I have a shot with him. Alright, I'm gonna throw the bomb. The cannon. I think that hit it. It's kind of hard to tell. Gonna do this again. Throw the thing at the thing. That definitely, yeah. It takes like two hits of bombs to blow up the cannon orb, whatever you want to call them. They're big purple balls. It's fine. This whole stupid level can just go in a ditch and roll around in the mud for all I care. Great. More bombs. More jerk face guy. I'm gonna use a bomb on him, because I want him to stop. So here's sort of the thing. Once you kill all the enemies, this gets really stupid, because nothing ever spawns again, but, like, they just they just barf them on you. There's, like, 10 million of them, and it's not fun, and this area is too small to use, like, ranged Skylanders, and melee Skylanders get beaten up because there's too many melee enemies. I don't like this level. It's stupid. I should like this level, but I don't. Let's not stick around to find out. We're out of here! Yeah, well, there you go. There's that level. Let's go back to the ship. I don't care. Wowzers, I am so glad we took care of those nasty sky pirates. Yes, yes. Our gun helped make them go away. Just hope there's still time to stop Chaos and his giant drill. Well, Kelly, I think you'll find that with Captain Flynn at the helm, anything is possible. Great. But who's steering the ship right now? Oh boy, not again. All right, you guys. I'm done. I'm out. I'm, t I'm not doing this anymore. Today. We'll be back next time for a much more palatable level. But, uh, I can't deal with this. It's just making me angry. This level's not a lot of fun. I've never really been a big fan of it. That is definitely the worst that that has ever gone by a huge margin. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's cool, I guess. I mean, we we did what we set out to do. We stopped the pirates from killing us. Barely. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my absolute abject misery uh, That that is this level. 
And I hope you're enjoying this turret minigame that gets unlocked after the pirate level, which unsurprisingly has some weird sky pirate things, just like the turret in the level. Uh, if you did have fun, maybe you would uh, subscribe so that you can see more of this misery and whatnot. And uh, if you liked the video, it will also tell me that you would like to see more like this. Uh, but for now, I'm definitely done. So I'll see you next time. Oh, we're actually here now.